Hello again, folks, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Metroid Zero Mission. Made as a um, big old-fashioned remake of the original back in 2004, uh, I had, had been thinking about doing, you know, good old Metroid as a Let's Play, but the thing is, is that the original uh, Let's Play is as Miss Game Champ. 3000 would say was programmed on duct tape and I do not have the patience for the way that that game was made uh, to the point where I think I even as a kid I only ever have gotten like to the bombs initially and then just stopped there because I realized that after every single time that you die you go essentially back to the beginning of the game which means a lot of traversing this game, however, has a lot of quality of life stuff as well as just some neat stuff that were added from before times. Uh, <laughs> a lot of, a lot, of, a lot of good stuff like directional aiming, saving, just quicker gameplay in general. Now that said too, I am not going to 100% this game. Can I assure you of that right now? Not going to be a 100%. Uh, I mostly just want to play this for good old nostalgia's sake because this was one of the first games this classic Metroid classic Zelda and I think Super Mario Brother no wait yeah in Super Mario Brothers uh, 3 remake were the first games I ever owned on a Game Boy Advance so let's go on ahead and start our first zero mission we're gonna go normal not that hard of a game. Planet Zebes. I called this place home once, in peaceful times, long before evil haunted the caverns below. Now I shall finally tell the tale of my first battle here, my so-called Zero Mission. Ah, man. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm slowly piecing together the controls, I swear. I'm playing this with a SNES 8-bit Do gamepad, so... Our first thing we get is the Morph Ball. Pretty, pretty iconic. Double tap down, become ball. Let's see. A to jump, B to shoot. Start to look at our map. We also have a status. So that we can go over all of our equipment. Uh, and the GBA also ha gives you the option for sleep. Which is neat. We can duck. Point up. And with this game, we can actually use the right trigger in order to shoot diagonally. Well. All of our capabilities are pretty, uh, pretty lacking right now. So yeah, this would this would be the game to make the most sense of having Samus starting at basically nil, nothing, nada. Barely the ability to shoot further than like ah ten feet in front of her. And you can try to murder those guys. Now one of the quality of life things I absolutely love about this game is that it does show you secret icons on the map uh, as well it will show you secret icons that you've collected secret icons are represented with syrup with a zir that circle and ones that are collected are represented with a dot now this is also a nice little quality of life thing one of the things why I never beaten the first one because this one includes not only a map well, it shows you, hey, maybe you should go here to progress the story. Not to mention, we can actually, I believe we can use those guys to restore our energy and attack stuff. Yeah, we just have to leave the screen. And... Save room. That's pretty nice. 
And I'll, there's a whole lot of verticality in this game too, by the way. Like, good lord. Makes, does make me wonder, just the patience that, uh, even as kids we had in order to play these games. Don't get me wrong, I love the concept of Castlevania, Metroidvania style games. But at the at the speed of which that they played when ah, when we were playing them on the NES, man. Now this is where things get a little bit, I'd say interesting, but we're still working on getting our getting our boots on the ground. First power up, the long beam. Fire long distance shots with the beam. Press L and B to fire diagonally. That's pretty handy. Means we can fire a little bit longer distance. No duh. That's why it's called the long beam gar. Go ahead and grab some energy. Yeah, look at that range now. Now it does not mean that we can attack things off screen. But it is helpful. What's that? Your target's just a little bit too far away? Well. Now it ain't. Actually, let's try this way first. Because we get to this. This is clearly an indicator of what we're expected to do throughout the game. It. Don't fall on the orange juice. Ah, yeah. This jerk. What a jerk he is. Alright. What do now, giant bird statue? All the way over there. We don't have a map for that. No worries. Any map areas that are, uh... Bleh, that we discover ourselves turns green. Everything else is pretty much just... Blue. Ow. Ow. Now the, uh, as far as I recollect, this is one of those progenitor games of... Things touch you, take damage. Now, here's the thing, though. These guys, it makes sense, because those guys are just a little bit, uh, spiky, if you haven't noticed. The, uh, floaty guys with the shells, though? Oh, wait. Maybe the other way first. Floaty guys with the shells, though? Makes less sense that they hurt you. I don't know. Maybe there's some sort of scientific reason where they're like, Ah, oh, yes. The otherwise docile creature that is just casually floating around. That thing can hurt you via touch. I don't know, maybe it's covered in acid. Eh? Pretty sure I had to go... I need to go down first. The flora and fauna of these games has always been interesting. Hmm. Oh, hey. That's what we do. Oh, can't proceed that way because we don't have bombs. This game is 20 years old. Hmm. Can't go up that way either. Alright. I seem to have a bunch of little creepy crawlies on me. Not bad, it's just annoying. Might as well hit a save point. Make a little bit of that progress. Man, to think though, I've... I'm pretty sure no one's done... Uh, I'll get into it in a second, because we have... Hey! Rude. 
Yeah, those guys are ever spawning, so it's a good way to recharge some stuff. We now have the missiles. They open the red hatches and do more damage. Can't go that way. Now those things drop missiles. Oh no. Our first boss. I've actually never beaten this guy uh, at this period, as it were. Oh. <laughs> first time I've actually beaten this guy here. Charge beam. Hold B to charge. Release the fire. Charge stack. Jump with a full charge. Yeah. So while I think the charge beam has the equivalency of the attack power of a missile, it does not have the capabilities of a missile. Which is sadness, but you know, you know, soon as I just did that in the in the first go, I feel like that deserves a save. No, don't ask me why the hell uh, I wasn't able ever to do something so silly easy. I think it's because I always tried to do a diagonal and I hit his little mandibles instead. Anyways. Ugh. Ah. I'm following the orange juice. Okay, can't go down that way yet. Oh. So, I know I'm not the only one to ever really play these games and then not beat them. But I'm very much one of those ones that I had played the first three Metroid games. You know, Metroid 1, 2, Super Metroid. And then just never beat them. In fact, this game is the only real way that they I ever beaten the first game. I can't do that yet. And uh, I never had... What is it that they called? Return of Samus. There we go. Energy tank. That gives us another 100 energy of health. Yes. Energy is health. And I can't wait to get some of the other power-ups. Hello. Ooh. Map room. Also something I don't remember from the first game. Because now we can see that we actually bypassed a place that we could go. Uh, where do we have the booms? Which we don't yet, so... Yes. Anywho. Yeah. I've always delved into Metroid, Super Metroid, Metroid 2 I actually had for the original Game Boy. And it was, despite its music, it was rather creepy of a game. How the hell? Oh, right. Shut up. Like, there are moments where its music was just silly. But, eh, you know, Metroid 2 does have some pretty creepy ones. That said, I'll see about whether or not I'll end up playing Metroid 2. Again, probably not the Game Boy one, seeing as that one was... Yeah. I know that there were plenty of remakes of it. And uh, as far as I know, there was, let's see, another Metroid 2 remake, which was really well received to the point where Nintendo was like, hey, stop that. And then the Samus Return remake that Nintendo themselves did, which is... Eh? I don't know. We finally have the bomb! Press B in Morph Ball, form to set. We has the bombs. We shall set us up the bomb. And hey! This actually allows us to see... Got a few secrets now. Well, I say see secrets, I mean get secrets.
Now, here's an annoying thing that took me a long time as I initially played to do. We cannot break this. We cannot open it because it's not flashing. Oh, but what's this? It requires the bombs. We need to kill all the threats in this room first before it would have let us out. It is a silly thing, but I uh, might as well hit the save point again. Mm. Excellent. Well, now that we're able to set up bombs, we can actually go quite a few places. Still can't go up because we don't have that kind of jumping capability. I'm sorry, I'm still also just a, a little bit amazed at myself for first timing that worm boss. Again, just never, never managed to do that guy first time. I don't know why. He's such a simple boss. Oh, uh, there be secrets here, though. There it is. Another missile tank. How did I miss that secret? I don't know. If y'all haven't noticed, I have a perception score of negative two. Ah! Uh, Got a phone. Aha! More directions. Ah, I gotta go down to Norfair. And go there. Of course. Weapons and energy fully charged. Alright, so that means we gotta go back up to the left and then a whole lot of down. Because we do have the bombs. Now, fun thing. You can get that missile that's there. Uh, I'd say relatively easily, but I'm shy at it. But it requires, like, precision jumping and getting hit. Damage boosting, as it's called in the speedrun community. Where you will take damage and either be able to run through things or be able to get that little additional push that you wouldn't, wouldn't otherwise have been able to get. Which, uh... Yeah, nah. I could be using missiles. But nah. Maybe don't... Uh, maybe note to self, when playing GBA games, I really should set up so as the Y and X buttons on this controller are rapid fire. Aha! Rude. Don't worry, those things do come back. The platforms, not the bugs. God, I hope the bugs aren't infinite. Bugs might be an infinite. That said, I don't think I'll be able to do this particular one just yet. Or ever, based on my own personal skills. Hold. Still. Uh, I didn't. I did. Oh, okay. I didn't. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure the devs. Devs saw that and were like, oh man, someone's going to soft lock themselves there. And lo and behold, I nearly did. Well. Let's get on down to Norfair. God, I I tried playing a little bit of the OG game before this. I didn't even get to the part with the bombs. I, I just... No. <laughs> I tried. 
I really did. I just wanted that it was some sort of a secret here. Ah oh, well. To no, to no affair. I'm sure that's fine. Ah. Yeah. Let's hit that save point first. Mm -hmm. Alright. It wants us to go right. But... My natural like, adventuring instincts tell me to go left. Oh lord. These, uh, these guys actually take two hits to kill. Hmm. Troublesome. And I can't collect that just yet. I'm not even sure how the hell I'm supposed to. Ah. Up here? Over here? Cease existing. Oh, where's this go? My natural exploration uh, desire is going to get me killed. I'll already tell you that. Oh uh, yeah, this area. We do not have the ability to... Uh, move all that freely underwater yet. So we probably want to avoid this area. Said while looking and going, hey. What an area we got here. Can I even do anything here yet? The simple answer is no. Complicated answer is I don't have the ability to do anything yet. You're in particular. Creepy sounding ruins. Creepy sounding ruins. Blocks I cannot destroy. Hmm. Can't even destroy them with that. Unknown item. Analysis inconclusive. Item incompatible with current suit. But, at the least, despite it being incompatible, it allows us to destroy some of these blocks. How nice of it. I forget whether or not I can get this missile or not without getting soft locked. Because again, We don't have a very high jumping capability. I'm not gonna risk it. For the sake of my own sanity, I ain't gonna risk it. Now, in order to, well, son of a basket case. There we go. Freedom! Can't go that way. Freedom in this direction. Ah, yes. Trust the giant bird statue mouth. Ah. Excellent. Ah, there we go. Ah. I was like, hey, how did I get through this bitch again? Um, how did I get through this bitch again? And I really gotta replay these video, these uh, games beforehand, don't I? Cause I know there's that.
Hmm. Ah, we can do that. So. It takes a little bit more precision than I have. Hmm. I forget if this is a soft lock or not. Because, um... Boy, howdy, it sure feels like a soft lock. One, one moment while I check. No, I'm, I'm apparently an idiot and... can do more blasting. I don't know. Oh, wait. Oh, I think I see. Yep. Hello. Power grip. This is actually a really neat idea for a mobility item. I just kind of wish it was default. Grab and hang from ledges and corners. So yeah, anytime that we uh, have those ledges now, we can do one of those. Yeah, not being able to see that there was one right there, though. That was a little... Eh. Maybe now I can get that missile pack, though. I always worry about soft-locking myself when it comes to these games. Shush. Let me see if I can't go back really quick. <gasps> nope. Nope, guess that's going to be a thing where I go back in a different time. Uh, up. Yeah, I do think that it kind of just needs to be the default. To wall grab like that. But I guess it does change the game rather drastically. Hey, this is our ship. Which allows us to not only restore ourselves, but to save. God, I love the look of that ship, though. Alright. I know there's stuff to the left. But we can't access that without... The booster. Gotta love how sinister this place always sounds. I mean, it is a pretty sinister place. It's freaking... Just creepy, man. Well, now that we got the power grip, uh, we're able to do a bunch of things. Including, go directions other than where the plot is trying to point us. Because I'm a jerk like that. Mine? Oh, -ho. Miss Gulf. Okay, I, I think there was more than missiles over here. Has to be. We'll probably figure that out later on in the game, though. Ooh, nearly right in the lava. Of note, too, we did get a small boost in our, uh, blaster's power when we picked up the long shot. Not a whole lot, but enough. Oh, wait, I can collect the uh, other thing. Now that I have the power grip. going to take me a while to remember how Metroidvanias work. Mine. Ah. I'm fine. We're fine. See, perfectly okay. Oh. Ow. Ow. Well, let's go collect our doodad up there.
wimp, wimp. Так. Up we go. Uh. Oh, hello. <laughs> Forgot about those egg things. I don't even remember half the things that were in the original game. I don't know if it's a combination of it's just been that long or I really just never got that far. Oh, right. I let that thing free and then later on I have the ability to freeze it so that I can get that item. I forget these things. Was that plot's pointing me towards this one path? Oh god. That area was literally on fire. We could not proceed that way. I mean, we could if we had the right suit, which we do not. So, don't even think about it. Maybe if he were some sort of a speedrunner or something like that, you know, playing video games really fast. Hello, next power up, the ice beam. This beam can freeze enemies in place. You can safely stand on frozen enemies. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. What you're supposed to do. Also, dare I say it uh, iron unironically, is one of the cooler weapons in the game. Hmm. Do I wish to try to go up? Never mind. I cannot power grip the things that would allow me to go up. Unless it's just a particular timing thing. Pew 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 pew. Boop. Okay. Can't power grip him, but I can. <gasps> nope. Gotta do it closer to that wall. There we go. I don't think you can kill the frozen enemy in the minis. But it is kind of funny to see them frozen midair. That's sadistic to say, probably a little bit. So it wants us to go back up to Brinstar. Go down to Kraid. And uh well, that's a menacing looking figure, ain't it? I wonder who's who's residing in Creed. I don't know why I'm getting such amusement out of freezing enemies. It's just a pastime, you know? Eh. Oh, there's a secret in there. Hold up. Probably one of those secrets I can't get until later game. Hmm. It has to be at there you are, Mr. Missile. If there's one thing I'd rather do if I can, it's collect stuff that I could otherwise not get until later now. You know, you know. Bada bada. Ow. Rude. Alright, speaking of, wonder if I can... A little, little early there. He, he will come back, it's just... Takes for goddamn ever.
There we go. And now we have 35. 35? Yeah, 35. Rude. I love how some enemies do, in fact, just die on contact with the ice one, and then some of them just freeze. Majority of them seem to freeze, which is fine. Ugh, wonder if I should just go up to Creed right now. Let's see. Wouldn't it be that long of a trip just up to Brinstar? Can I go up from there? Oh, I can. I just need to freeze these foes. And then careful with the freaking moving around. I swear that they put the power grip in there just to make it so as you can do a little bit more precision based stuff. Come on. Alright. Oh. Because hear me out. Sometimes you don't have the precision to make a uh, like, little jump into a two section wall. And for the most part, you can't jump into a, you know, one section wall. You need to grab onto it and then roll up. Boom, boom. Uh, swore I prost, pressed prost? Prost. Pressed down twice. Ooh, actually, I wonder if I can collect the, um... Can I collect it? Might be able to collect it. By the way, I do not expect this to be as a long let's play, seeing as Metroid itself is not that long of a game. Let's see. So it's just over here. Where was it? Up there. So you can, like, narrowly get it. I'm wondering whether or not I could freeze the enemies before I get onto the screen. Or if they're the ones that'll just explode before you can get a chance to do so. Nah. Those ones just explode. Teehee. Blew up your platforms. Oh god. Oh lord. They're attacking us. All angles. Well, he seems like a happy little statue. Hmm. Creed. I'd almost say, uh, for the most part, you might have already seen all these areas at this point. I think there's like two or three. I don't know. Two or three more. It's been a while since I had even came to this place. Let alone play the game, so. I'm a missile. Missiles. There we go. Actual damage via missiles. Go figure. Oh. Pick. <laughs> now we get these fun little bug eye guys. Hmm. Can't go up that way. I guess we're going the other direction then. Nice try, jerks. I think of all the so of all the songs in this game, 
in the Metroid series. What is this? What is the game? Hmm. What is the game's song that is in? Ah, can't go that way. Implanted in your head, the most. For me, it's something of a mixture of the first song, like the intro song, and Creed. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're going this way either. Yeah, we ain't going that way either. We need to turn back on these power nodes. I don't know, there's something about the tone of this song makes it more sinister. Ah. Oh right, this bullshittery. I do feel like some of this some of the stuff that they expect you to do for the power-ups in this is a little bit out there. But definitely nowhere near as out there as say Fusion. Don't get me wrong, I love Fusion. Fusion is actually one of my one of the first of the Metroid series I've actually beaten on my own. I can go this way. I can't go that way. But... <laughs> oh my lord, there's a lot of you guys. Boy howdy, how I wish I could... last a whole lot more of these guys faster. What do we got? Oh boy. Raid is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Let's see, I think. Yeah, this. That gives us a temporary speed booster. Do we want to, though? I'd say no, not at the moment. There's a reason why they give you missiles. Despite how good uh, freezing shit is. Just continue on your way, sir. Oh, wait. No. Yep, no. Clings to you. They expect you to turn on the power first before you can proceed in pretty much any direction. Of note, really don't remember those uh, track things to be on this. Or in the game prior, the first one, the OG. Just doing that to get some more health. Because we need the additional power if we want to get that one. Alright, in which case it expects us to go... ...to the right here. Oh, no wait. No, it doesn't. Where does it want us to go? Up and to the left. No. Up and to the right. Oh. No? Was it just up? Probably it was just up. Hey Dor, how long has it been since you last played this game? Way too long, evidently. Do 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 Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Don't know why I took a moment to pause there. Okay, so not that way. Was I able to proceed up? Heck me. Is Crane seriously the part where I get lost here? Thank you for the missiles. What was wrong here? I don't think there was anything wrong here. I'm just an idiot. Yep. I'm just an idiot. Totally not just an idiot. I, I meant to do that. Emphasize just how much uh, exploration that there is in this game. Hmm. Save point. Out from this direction, we ain't. Doop, 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 doop. Heck me, is this another... Ow. Oh, you... Me. And then roll to left. Or right, you know what I mean. Hey, it's that thing we've been meaning to do. And now we can do this. Glorious. I love how the energy also... Oh. Guess we're not going that way. I love how the energy restores me as well. Because, uh, boy howdy, does it suck to have no energy when you just got some more. Sentences that make sense in my head, I swear. Boss fight! I legit forgot that this boss fight was here. Also kind of forgot how easy it was. Oop. I stand corrected for a little bit. Oh, you jerk. Give me one, give me like five seconds so I can respond. Hmm, I have a little problem. Ah. Yeah, that problem is that uh, it's otherwise invincible. Save for the, you know, bright red screw me spots right here. So hitting it with a charge shot is a giant pain in the ass. I really This is not the boss that kills me. Oh hey. I hate you. The missiles. Hey, health. I can't believe I'm resorting to freaking cheese strats to get some healing up. One more. 
can't believe that's hitting with one thing and missing with the other. Come on. I can't believe that this boss is giving me a hard time. I just don't ha didn't have the missiles for it is the thing. There we go. Only took a small millennia to do that. Oh. Is there a point to come down here? Yes. Oh, get off my missiles. Get off my missiles. Yeah, so it gives you the difference in the missiles, but it doesn't give you it do, yeah, doesn't give you the difference in missiles, but it does give you the difference in HP when healing stuff. I guess that's fine. Um, where am I trying to go now? I guess back up, out, and around. Or can I actually leave through here? Get back to the save point. Now that save point's a long ways off, and I can't go back through there. This means I gotta go back through this way. And now I gotta explore and find all those things I had found before. But now, with added... This thing. Yay! I got a lot of added in game mechanics to make a game more interesting. Oh, I want that. No! I want that! Well, now I have to go the long way. Naha! It is mine now. And I should probably get all my healing back up too. Because if you haven't noticed, it's nice having missiles. But at the least, I am going to save here and call an episode. When we return, maybe we'll finally leech leech reach crate. And, um, create the boss, not create the area, because we're already in crate. We already succeeded on that much. I'm going to go ahead and call an episode. We will return crate the boss. Thank you, everyone, so very much for watching. I hope you're all going to enjoy the series as much as I hope I'm going to enjoy playing it for y'all. Uh, if you want to support the channel in the series, considering leaving a like, commenting, subscribing, all that fun stuff helps out the channel and lets you know when I do silly uploads like freaking Zero Mission Metroid. And uh, if you want to support the channel in a financial fashion, I have a bevy of links down in the description below. Every little bit helps, keeps a roof over my head, food in my belly, and will eventually go to upgrading my PC. Thank you everyone so very much for watching, and I hope to see you folks in the next video. Take care. Cheers.